guys, uh, welcome to another training class here at the University of uh, Victoria Wing Chun with the Global Wing Chun Academy Combat. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of grappling, about the takedowns and the defenses. This is something Wing Chun lacks a little bit. Everybody's trying to stick with their traditional, they're trying to think they can bring opponents down every time. A lot of times in the street, that's not going to happen. So it's good to know a bit of wrestling, a bit of judo, maybe a bit of jiu-jitsu. If you can mix that with your own art, you're going to get a whole lot more benefit out of it. So we're just going to go with some very, some basic quick trainings right now. The first thing usually is trying to learn how to roll your hands and everything. So I'm going to have Jacob in here. The easiest way for the beginners, if they don't have experience with the wrestling or nothing, stay in front of each other. One hand on underneath here, the other hand here. And we're just gonna very smoothly. Just, this is the oldest drill for wrestling. So we're just rolling, and every time I'm doing, I'm close to my opponent's body. I'm not staying like this. There's no body contact. You can take me down. But this way, I gotta control. So this is the first drill. So we're gonna have Mike and Jacob do that for a few times. Just do, and by the way, these guys they've done Wing Chun for a long time, but Ground technique, they haven't. So even for a student who's done Wing Chun for years, it's still gonna be difficult because wrestling is not part of it, but very smooth, very smooth. You're just doing that, trying to learn how you keep your necks in place and that's it. So this is a good drill for everybody to do, kind of like a warm up. Once you do this for a few times, then we can change it to, now let's see here. The next step would be, you do this in here, we're gonna practice our elbows. See, I come down in here. I come down in here. Go ahead, here. Let's say it's your turn. You go for elbow. One, yes, good. I come down in here, you go for elbow. Good. I come down in here. Elbow. Go ahead. Elbow. From here, I go down in here. Headbutt. So there's a lot of options I can do. I can go from here. My knee is close to the heel. So you, you can mix green chunk with it, but this is basically the first training. If you guys notice, if you hold your hands out here like a wooden dummy, wing chunk, we've got all this, we practice. Kind of like when it comes in here, this is like a bong cell. Basically the same thing I'm doing here. When I come in here, this hand looks like a bong cell. I'm doing an opening, but then I'm just going in for a good control. Same concept, you just make it a bit wider. You do that a few times, you can do it with stepping a little bit. One leg forward, one leg back. So from here, one side leads. Let's say I'm doing the lead, when I'm in here. Now, when I'm going in, I'm gonna take a step here. So it teaches you proper distancing because Wrestling or ground fight is different. Wing Chun, we stay in here, we do this. For a fight, whatever they shoot fight, we got a body angle going like this. So you want to still maintain your balance. You do not want to have that typical Wing Chun straight stand in a wrestling because if it comes towards me and if I've got this, nothing. So as soon as it's coming in, I'm going to sit low. It's a little bit different than Wing Chun. It's wrestling, so that'd be a good drill. Now, a couple of options about people ask. You fight him, you go in, all of a sudden, the guy is coming in for a takedown. What stuff happens? Different scenario, I'm just going to go through it quickly. Wing Chun tells us he was coming in for a takedown. Here, this is what we're going to do. Boom, 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 boom. Best case scenario. I may not be able to pull it. If he's a good jujitsu guy, man, he's going to fucking lift my ass up, knock me down. I won't even notice it. But you can still practice that when he comes in. This is one way. Side, you got to take the control. Or, if it's got a lot of force coming in, that's when I just go straight down. But let's say this stuff fails, and all of a sudden now I'm the bad guy. I'm gonna shoot him, I'm gonna come in, and he ends up grabbing me. What can we do next? But well, we're gonna go slow first for you guys to see. So let's say I'm coming in like this, and then you end up in this position. Now, not much I can do. This is ground now, whether it's a tournament or whatever. So one of the things you can do first, your neck, who's here? This leg moves this way, same time. So basically, this is what we're doing. I end up in here, I do not want to be on top of him for a street. My leg's actually to the side because this is what I'm doing. I just want to hit the guy. Then I want to go. 
Now again, we're gonna, I'm gonna show that one more time. So if I'm coming in, he gets me in this position. All I gotta do is neck move and the leg at the same time. This is, you get him from this position. If I end up in this position, if I'm the bad guy, you guys gotta be careful. If he just thinks about blocking in the street, I'm doing this, grab a knife, bam, bam, bam. He's done. So these are the stuffs between the reality and between dojo. That is something you can't just learn by training. You just gotta keep trying. Just see how it feels. But let's say I end up in this position and I hit, keep hitting him. He's a tough guy. He wants to roll all of a sudden. This knee comes in close to his body. Hands here, I'm just gonna bring this in. This here comes very close. This hand slides under. We just roll him over. Again, this would be a tournament style. I can put him in a sleep. I don't recommend it in the street. I do this to him. His body's over there. So this is just some very, very simple drills. Now, with Mike, I'm gonna show you a couple of stuff again. We're gonna go very soft in here. One, two. And don't have too much force with this. Don't be robotic. Just like a dance. Feel each other. Feel each other's body. Okay? And I'm here. Boom. He's gonna practice his elbow. Good. I'm gonna come in here. Head back. Head back. I'm in here. I'll go for a knee. He goes boom. So these are all the options happens from here. Even once you do this training, let's say we keep doing this here. Here. Now. Here. Good. Here. One way you can change it when it comes to here, from here. When he's got him like this, if you can move your legs in different directions, then you can get him off balance. So if I keep doing this, I'm gonna have Jacob, I don't wanna hurt your leg. He had a surgery, guys, we, don't, we wanna keep him safe. So, you're here, you're here. Let's say I end up in here. From here, if I want to, if I've got a good momentum from here, even if I can't do anything in here, I've got a good control in here. This hand can drop down. And all I gotta do, and then for the street, I'm just gonna hit him. So, those are all different options. You can bring it to your training. One, two, one. Here, this is what I'm doing. I'm never gonna let go of this. I'm bringing the guy. I've got this. Here, good control, finish the guy. Another way we can do this, we go in here. When I'm in this position, when I want to go for the elbow, there's no body rotation here. Again, these are for street. This is a drill. Don't think you're going to pull it off in one drill. Stuff like this happens. No, never. I'm just going to borrow. Louis. Hi, right, guys. Let's stay here. Just one more thing. I'm going to have a big guy. A little guy. The drill I showed you going under. Don't try with the big guy. He's standing there. Let's say all of us now go for a shoot fight, and then he gets me. Do the same thing. Get, get me, let's go down to the ground. Yes, Ooh. look at this body weight. I mean, let go. It's not doable, it's still good to know the technique. We're talking about almost 200 pounds, 140 pounds, so use your brain. First of all, it's not wise to go ahead, fight, and all of a sudden shoot like a big guy like this. I don't recommend it. Or vice versa, if it's a bigger guy is coming in for me, Go well, slow, let's say you want to do a shoot fight. And if I end up getting him like this, he can lift me up probably. <laughs> so those drills are out. That's TV tournament is different. For the bigger guys, if it's coming in, the best thing is just try to get out of the way as fast as you can. Either to the side, or if you have too much force coming in for you, just bring him down slowly with the face to the concrete. Then put him out of his misery. So thanks man. This is just a couple of ideas. Come here guys. This is Jacob, one of our students. Basically, these guys practice Wing Chun. This is Mike, same thing. We all know Wing Chun latch, the ground wrestling stuff. So we're trying to mix that up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.